Alright, what's going on everybody? We are back with, hopefully, episode 2 of our Toronto Maple Leafs franchise series. Um, this series has been, man, this has been wild because the first episode I had to cut uh, about 30 minutes of footage and then episode 2 uh, that I recorded I think two or three days ago I lost all footage uh, I just randomly got corrupted and everything just was lost so hopefully this one works if it doesn't, I'm probably just going to delete the first episode and we're just going to scrap this entire thing. I'm hoping that's not the case because I was really looking forward to doing this one. Um, man, it sucks because uh, I've played, uh, I think, three, I think I played two games in the last episode. Uh, we played the Tampa Bay Lightning, which was a game and a half. Horrible. We were up 2 nothing. We let in four goals in the third period. We lost 4-2. to two. And then... Detroit Red Wings, we played as the goalie, we played as Hutchinson, um, we won 6-5 in, yeah, in, in regulation, yeah, um, it was hard, man, it was, it was hard, Hutchin Hutchinson in this game, not very good, not very good, just like he is in real life, um, so we're gonna try and record this today, hopefully it works, um, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be simulating these two games, the Minnesota game and the uh, Washington Capitals game, and then we're going to be playing the Boston Bruins. The Bruins right now, they're first in our division, so it's going to be a big game, um, and obviously the Leafs and the Bruins have rivalry, so uh, it'll be a good game for us. So We're 3-3 three and three to start the year, not very good. We're facing the 5-0 and oh Minnesota Wild. Hopefully we can beat these guys first period. Andreas Janssen and John Tavares get us on the board. Mikheyev and Matthews, they get two. Hopefully they don't... Okay, perfect. So we win 4-2. to two. Good game for us. Good game for Freddy. You gotta love to see it. So Cody CC is injured until November 7th. I don't know. Okay, so it's... Okay, so he's out for a little bit. So we're gonna have to get someone in. Um, we do have Martin Marins, and he's our only option at this point. So we do have to get him in there. Um, so we have a positive record. Hopefully we can beat the Capitals. Go on Boston on a two-game winning streak. Going from Zach Hyman. They get two. Alright, so we, we at least get a point, which is good, uh, from, from this game. And we lose in the shootout. Hutchinson was playing, though, so that was a good game from Hutchinson. Good bounce-back game for him. Um... We did lose, but we lost in a shootout, which means if we simulate up to this day, let's see, okay, so we actually dropped, but if we win this game against the Bruins, uh, actually we have two games against the Bruins coming up, so maybe we'll actually, well, you know what we're going to do, we're going to sim this one, we're going to play that the, the one on the 22nd, I think that's a better idea, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to let the, the computer take over here. Hopefully they can uh, get us some wins. So Trevor Moore, Mitch Marner, they get two as well. Kerfoot, but they keep coming right back. Okay, so we at least each get a point. But this this is huge. We can get an extra point against the Bruins. We're going on a shootout. And we win in a shootout. Let's go. Tavares and Matthews carry us to the W. That's what I like to see. That's a huge win, man. That is absolutely huge. And they do have a game in hand, which isn't the best. So we got to beat Columbus, man. Columbus, I, I know I'm asking for a lot of wins, but we got to we gotta start winning games here. And we lose. We lose in regulation. Uh, do we play this Boston game, or do we play the game against Montreal? Montreal is dead last. Uh, let's play the game against Montreal. I trust my boys to win here. Oh man, we started Hutchinson. Oh Jesus, we get blown out. Why are we starting Hutchinson so much? What's going on? 
back to back regulation loss is not good guys at this rate we're gonna miss the playoffs there we go two goals there we go they almost came back though Tavares had a good game captain had a good game and Rasmussen's injured we don't have a we don't have a defenseman to um, to put in a spot oh no Fergie no we have to we have to call up a defenseman yeah we have to call someone up should we give little good a shot should we give him a shot you think how's he he's doing he's got three points in four games so far what do you trying to think who should we call up we're gonna we're gonna call up to anything we're gonna give him a chance he's gonna make his NHL debut he's nervous about his call up I don't blame you buddy it's a big spot so we're gonna put him in he's got medium elite potential so this is this is his time to shine man he's uh rolls minor top two defenseman you're in the NHL make the most of it which means we probably have to change the AHL. Yes, we do. The AHL defenseman. So we'll just put uh, him in there. All right. It's just shot to make think this is it, man. We are facing the three and seven Montreal Canadiens. There is no excuse. We have to. We have to win this game. There's no excuse to lose. Absolutely none. So here we go, we are facing the Montreal Canadiens and Shea Weber, obviously their captain. This is a huge man, we have to win. It's gonna be tough if we lose. Why are we starting Hutchinson? have made a mistake. They're starting for Eddie Anderson. And we're gonna see a yeah, it's gotta be done, man. I suspect this is health related here. This early in the game to be making a goalie switch is pretty odd. Toronto's won the draw and they'll go to work. And that banks off a stick. The Canadians move it in. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Domi. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Pretty good stop here early in the game for Freddie Anderson. The Big Dane, really calm in goal, James. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Domi's won it off the faceoff. Montreal's on the attack. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Sends it in on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Solid hit on that play. Here's a short pass to Gallagher. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Toronto's won the draw and tries to make a diagonal pass to Janssen with the stop. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it to Drouet. Denies him on the play. Sends a pass over. 
Toronto's got the puck at center. Fires it into the offensive corner. Slides it diagonally to Deneau. Rocks him on the play. There's the physical side. Lays the body. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Janssen's going to play it against the half wall. Pucked away. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Move to the middle. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Oh, oh man. man. Stones him in front. Oh, don't ignore that, James. I don't know if it sounded big where you were. It is now, I'm telling you. Morris moving it ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Moves the puck along the half wall. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Burinson's taking it from his own end. Taken along the wall by Armia. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Montreal's in transition. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Things get physical now. Wow, did he lay the wood to him. That's a solid hit. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Fires it into the offensive zone. Laying the body. That's a solid check on the play. Sometimes a rookie can get to the point where he's just paralyzed because he's trying to score so hard, he's now looking for the perfect play. Just shoot it. Maybe it'll go in the net for you. Nice pass. Wrist shot from the slot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Hammers the one-timer. Big save by the goaltender once again. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Defenders get a break here. That stoppage in play came just in the nick of time. They're gassed out there. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Through center along the wing. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Dished on over to Dermott. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Still no goals in this one. We'll see if that changes here as period number two is underway. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Toronto's going to be hard-pressed to replicate that first period. I thought they had the puck the whole time, James. Yet they look up, and it's still scoreless. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now it's over to Dermott. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Deneau's won it. Puck grabbed by Petrie. There's a collision. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Quick pass to Lykanen. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Here's a chance. Marner's got the puck. And they'll be forced Guys, to come on. Pass. Riley's gaining momentum. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Lights him up into the boards. And now it's grabbed by Janssen. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Tavares. That's a slash on that play, and the referee's all over it. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. You are a pretty good little leaguer. That's almost a home run swing. You make connection with that, James. That's a double. That's a penalty in hockey. And manages to clear the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to cut to Niemi. Passes right to the front. And that one's blocked. Toronto's got control of the puck. Hyman's got it in the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Oh, what a glove save! And 
and momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Pulls the puck at the line. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. Wait a minute, first career goal? What?
The Canadians have it from their own end. Takes the pass. Into the corner of the attacking area. Pass back to the point. Right to the middle. Sends the pass over. Snaps one on net. Stopped by the goaltender. And another stop. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. And now he angles it across to Petrie. Toronto's gained possession. Takes it across the blue line. That one's wow. tip. He scores! I believe a call of the Mars likes to call those back-to-back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. Toronto's goal now puts them up by two here with just minutes remaining in the third. Okay, channel your inner coach here. What do you say? I'm trying not to let anybody be comfortable with the lead. Even though it's a great spot to be, I want guys staying aggressive so we can play in the offensive end of the ice. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Toronto's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Matthews has won the faceoff, and that's blocked away. Puck scooped up by Deneau. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Big time defensive play. Now a quick pass to Drouet. Well, that's the end of his shift. Man, James, he took a huge hit, slowly getting himself to the bench where he can get tended to by the trainer. Picked off. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck. The Leafs have it now. Quick pass to Nylander. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Drills him. Slides the puck across to Gallagher. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Beautiful glove stop on that one. And manages to clear the zone. Handles it again. Puck picked up by Udall. Comes up with the steal. While they trail, he's... What a shot! He scores! Oh, man, the goalie thought he had this cover, James. You can tell from his body language, but it beats him, hits the post, and goes in. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Trailing in this one, they have pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Can't get it to go. Montreal's got it now. Quick feed to Houdon. Stopped by the goaltender. No oh! What a goal! What a goal! What a freaking goal! What? What? What a goal! Oh, now you got a. What? What a fucking goal. Look at this. Boom! Right in the center. What? What a fucking goal. Oh my god. That is the greatest goal I've ever seen in NHL. Yay sports history. Look at this. Look at this. He, like, he didn't even think about it. He's just like, oh, fuck it. Boom. What a fucking goal. That was amazing. That should be enough to put this away. Tavares wins it. Puck grab by Riley. Looks to pass it to Truang. Slides it on over to Kotkaniemi. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. They push right to the end, and they got the goaltender out, James. That's your last chance, you... Give everything you can, see if you can equalize. It just didn't work out for him. You never liked being on the ice with those empty netters, did you? No, those are those hurt your plus minus column. I know that stat doesn't mean what it used to, but it still but hurts. But it still stings. Yeah. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.